All right, so we're back at it again with another video. Uh, this time it's gonna be my two hits of 25C, 1000 UG. Each hit was 1000 UG, so I did 2000 UG worth of 25C, worth of a research chemical. But uh, anyways, it started uh, senior skip day in high school. And uh, I took, uh, I called my friend up and he brought me Long story short, he brought him over to my house. And uh, he left, so I put one on. And I walked to this field, and I'm waiting to start tripping. You know, I'm starting to get the body high of the 25C, which feels like you're twacked out, but I'm starting to get the body high. And uh, I'm all right, starting to come on. So I'm sitting down, and I'm sitting down at this one place. I don't know, I just feel super uneasy about where I'm at. Like, I don't know, I just don't feel good the vibes where I'm at is not good, and I'm by myself, and it was my first time doing it by myself. So, um, I, I kind of get up and I start walking. I walk past this one school, and I remember the moment I definitely knew I was tripping fucking balls is <laughs> when I looked at this wall and like the bricks were like offset, and the like the whole wall just turned into like a clown face like the whole fucking wall just turned into a fucking like clown i was like what the fuck dude like i was, like, I was tripping super fucking hard and then i was like all right whatever i was like damn i'm tripping pretty fucking hard and so i go to this i go to this football field and i go on the bleachers and i, I go to the top of the bleachers i remember looking down at the football field and seeing like every little piece every little like blade of grass i could like honestly see and like it was just forming one fucking huge picture like the whole field was just like one picture it was it, it was it was just one huge picture dude it was like super fucking intense man i remember just sitting there and i was like i'm pretty sure it was my first time doing doing it during the day too and i was like what the fuck man i was i was like never tripped this hard before i was like oh my god then I was like, all right, dude, I'm just going to go home and fucking just wait it out and trip it out and just fucking be fine in my house. All right, so I come home and fucking I'm standing at my back, my back door, and I'm looking exactly where I'm at right now. And I'm looking down and I'm like, I was like, what the fuck? My grass grows probably like six feet tall, probably about as tall as I am, about six feet tall. And it starts changing colors like red, blue, yellow, green, orange, dude, like a whole bunch of different colors like that. It just keeps on. It's like a disco, dude. It's like just changing so fucking fast, man. I was like, dude, I was like, dude, what the fuck? I don't know. And this, and at this point, I don't know. I started kind of getting scared. Then, um, and I remember, like, I'm not, I'm not for sure about y'all, but I know for me that, like, if you start thinking about your stomach hurting. Then like, you'll think it starts hurting. Then if you think about throwing up, then you'll fucking throw up. Well, for some reason, I start I, I start thinking about throwing up, and uh, I like I fucking I think I threw up. I remember something coming up, but I don't know if I was just tripping. I was tripping so hard I couldn't even like comprehend what the fucking ground was. I couldn't like I don't know. I was just the whole floor was like warping and everything. Then. My friend calls me up out of nowhere. He's like, dude, I'm coming over right now. I was like, ah, uh, I was like, uh, I was tripping. I was like, dude, I was like, oh, I'm not home right now. He goes, dude, your car's home. I was like, dude, uh, I was like, well, I'm not home. He goes, dude, you're fucking home. I'm coming over. I was like, fuck. So, so I kind of just accepted it. As soon as he walked in, uh, he kind of knew I was fucked up on something. He just didn't know what. <laughs> and he walked in and, uh, no, nah, he's not even a friend anymore. He's a fucking snitch. But anyways. He walked in, then I was like, dude, I'm fully blown tripping on fucking acid right now. And then he was like, alright, anyway, so we just tripping, and fucking I'm telling him what I'm seeing, he's not believing it. Then we go down to this workout place, and this workout place, we, he's working out, I'm not. I'm just sitting there, I'm just tripping, and he comes up to me. This is probably one of like, the most intense moments. It's probably like max peak. He's like, dude, be 100% honest with me. I was like, okay. He's like, tell me what you see and don't lie. I was like, dude, I looked at him. I was like, dude, if I told, if, if you could see what I see right now, you would not fucking believe it. He goes, just tell me the truth, 100%. I was like, okay. So I looked at his hair. His hair 
was a disco ball, dude. Like, it was changing colors just like the grass was, but, like, way more fast and, like, way more intense. And, like, the tips of his hair were shooting out light beams, dude. Like, each little piece of hair, the end of it was shooting out light beams. I was tripping that fucking hard, and I told him that. He's like, dude, there's no fucking way. And, uh, he's like, dude, give me, give me a tab of acid. He's never... He smokes weed, but he, he doesn't fucking... He's never done fucking shrooms. He's never done... He doesn't even know what the difference between 25i and real LSD is. He doesn't know anything about, about the M-bones or fucking nothing, dude. And he went... And I was like, dude, no. You cannot handle this. And fucking... I remember... Uh, oh, my God. Then, uh... Then I go... Uh, I go to the... I go inside my high school. I go inside. And I walk into my teacher. Because I remember telling, telling him at the beginning of the year. I was like... I'm going to come to school fully blown tripping on LSD one day. Because he, he kind of was just cool like that. Because he did it too. Back in like the like the 70s and 80s. When he, was a, when he was a kid. He's like, no you're not. You're bullshitting. And I was like, alright, well, bet, watch. So I, I walk into his class. You know, I'm fucking fucked up. And... Uh, I walk in there, he's like sitting at his desk, and I just walk back there, and I start laughing, he goes, what? I was like, you're not going to believe me right now, but I'm tripping on, I'm tripping balls right now. And uh, he, he kind of smiles, and he's like, you get the fuck out of my class. So I left, I was walking down the hallways, right? I was walking down the hallways, and there was two dragons flying beside me on each side. There was just two dragons just flying like this, just fucking like... Where I don't know, I couldn't stop looking at them. They were just beside me. They're like the Chinese dragons. Like I don't know, they were just fucking like there and just flying beside me. I was like, oh my god. I was in school too, and I just walked home. Then I just watched. Uh, I tried to experiment with it. I just watched Joe Rogan videos and try to like learn. I don't know. I feel like it's harder to learn shit while tripping on 25i than it is LSD because I don't know. I think LSD just like absorb information better, but uh. That's really about my. That's really about it. And I, I kind of just went home and just finished out my trip there. It lasted like uh, say it lasted like eight hours, eight, nine, ten hours somewhere around there. But it, it was pretty intense. That was two tabs of twenty five i and one thousand ug. So it's pretty fucking intense. But that's my trip story for this one. I'll probably have more trip stories coming up. I don't know. I'm kind of just making these videos. I could really care less who's watching them, but it's just for people out there that have never done hallucinogens and they kind of want to know what it's like. Just know if it's a bitter, it's a spitter, unless you know what you're doing. Unless you know it's 25i or 25c or 25b or 2cb or anything. I, I know almost all the hallucinogens out there, but fucking. Unless you know what you're doing, if it's bitter, it's a spitter. Real LSD don't taste like nothing. So. But that's it for right now. I'll probably I'll be getting my friend. I'm not getting it. My friend's getting five M O E D M T N. That's gonna be intense. I'll definitely put out a story about that. But turn up, um, <laughs> do expand your consciousness, create peace, do hallucinogens, love and rave. <laughs>